Throngs of protesters have filled Cairo's Tahrir Square as well as the streets of cities throughout Egypt after an Islamist-dominated assembly passed a draft of what could be the country's new constitution. The protests originally began after Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi issued a decree giving himself broad powers above judicial oversight. But after the Constitutional Assembly rushed through a draft constitution containing a number of worrying articles, the protests took on even more urgency. Liberal and secular members boycotted the assembly, which was composed primarily of Islamists sympathetic to Morsi and the Muslim Brotherhood. The draft of the constitution largely reflects this, with a number of articles asserting the centrality of Sharia law in Egyptian society. One article states that Egypt's most respected Islamic institution, Al-Azhar, must be consulted on all matters related to Sharia law, something many fear will be used to require clerics to oversee the drafting of legislation and could lead Egypt down the path towards theocracy. Another point of contention is the lack of protection of freedom of speech. One article explicitly bans insulting or defaming the Prophet Muhammad, while another asserts that the state is obliged to support arts and literature, although seemingly leaving open the possibility of restriction and censorship of expression. The draft also fails to establish equality between men and women, although it says that women must balance their duties toward family with outside work. Phrasing some worry could mean women would be held accountable if their public roles conflict with family duties. As Western pressure mounts on Egypt to address worrying trends among the country's new leaders, the true test of the extent Islamists are able to leave their mark on Egypt's constitution still awaits. The document has to be ratified by voters in a referendum, and if Egyptians opt to reject the draft, the whole process will start over again.